guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. So in today's video, we're covering a quick tutorial on how to create a bootable USB flash drive for Windows Server 2022. Now, before we get into that, if you're interested in your own copy of Windows Server or other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll have links in the description box below. So without further ado, let's get started. So in this video, for example's sake, I'm actually using an external hard drive. Uh, the principle is exactly the same. I would typically use a USB flash drive. I just didn't bring one to today's recording session, but this will show up in exactly the same way a flash drive would. Another thing to note is that there isn't a downloadable installation media tool like there is for Windows 11. So instead, we're going to be using a third party application. And the software we're using is called Rufus. It's completely free and it's pretty popular for easily creating USB bootable flash drives. So to get started, you'll just download the Rufus application and you also need to download your Windows Server 2022 disk image. We'll leave links for both of those things in the description box below. So once you have that, we've got our Rufus 4.0 right here. I'm gonna drag this and my Windows Server file to the desktop. Again, we wanna make sure we have the Windows Server disk image. All right, so once we have the drive plugged in, we're gonna go ahead and boot up Rufus. Select yes here on the pop-up. And then in this drop-down menu, select the drive that you wanna use and make sure it's the correct one. Uh, for me, that's this one, it's the only one I have connected. And then we're gonna leave this as disk or ISO image. We'll press select and then we're gonna click our server ISO. So we'll load that in. We're gonna leave the image option as standard. I'm going to leave my partition scheme as GPT, uh, but you can switch to MBR and change this if you'd like. Now going down to the format options, I'm going to leave this all exactly as it is, NTFS and the default cluster size. So once everything looks good, we're just going to go ahead and press start. Now please look at the information carefully right here. It's telling us that it's going to format the drive. It's gonna destroy any data that we have on the drive. So make sure that if there's anything important on the drive, it's backed up before you start this process. Now, I'm not actually going to press start, but pressing start here is the last step in the process. You'll let it run for a few minutes and you'll have your bootable USB flash drive. All right, so that's gonna do it for today's video. If you guys have any questions, drop those in the comment section below. And we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Again, if you're interested in picking up Windows Server or other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll have links in the description box below. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.